Okay, hi, my name is Azimasto and this is my friend. Hi, my name is Nurai Hai. And another one. Aja. So, this video is about SOP, Standard Operating uh, Procedure. Lately, this video uh going to show you uh, the Standard Operating uh, Procedure for standing a horse. Before we start with training our horse, uh, we have to know what is standard operating uh, procedure. <laughs> okay. So, literally this SOP is, uh, is a step-by-step procedure on how to do something that uh, critical to quality, uh, critical to safe operate operation, or critical to security. That means safety. Alright? Okay. The next is equine restraint standard operating procedure. So, uh, this is actually the guideline for the management team of the stable that they need to follow strictly. This SOP is made to make sure the management team can make the correct decision and be done in good in handling horses. So, there is three importance for this SOP. First, it is to make sure the horse and handler in safe condition. The second one is it's a way to restrain horse to avoid incident or injury happen. And the last one is to ensure the decision of horse handler always consistent, effective and reliable. Uh, having a basic knowledge uh, that we know of the animal's behaviour is important in safe and uh, human handling. And then a spray animals like a horse have a strong fight or flight. Uh, uh, fight or flight uh, response and stutter easily at quick movement or loud noise. We have three types of restraint first, halter or head collar and lip rope, and then uh, mechanical restraint, and the last one is chemical restraints. Process of equine restraint. So, first step you have to know or you have to consider is our self safety, which is PPE. Okay, personal protective equipment. Okay, so uh, what are PPE is? So for restraining, actually we need our, we have to lock, uh, wear a long pants, a uh, nice boots, and then uh, a glove. Because we will be using a lot of hands for restraining the horse. So, three purpose. First is a general purpose. That means uh, for your our daily daily uh, activities such as uh, grooming, maybe uh, washing a horse. Second one is a technical technical purpose. Uh, for example, uh, when we do the dentistry for the horses, maybe sh uh, shoeing for the horses, and then the last one will be a uh, clinical purpose. Uh, if one if the horse are need to be surg surgical. Uh, we need to do uh, some of the uh, restraint which is uh, chemical. So you have to identify what are the purpose you are using for uh, restraining a horse. Alright. Okay. Uh, if your purpose is a uh, general purpose, so we are using halter with the rope. Uh, if you're using a halter with new rope, that means uh, you have to consider the horses. Okay. okay guys, if the purpose of restraint is the technical purpose, you will use the mechanical restraint. Uh, which is mechanical restraint uh, have two, which is uh, the tension and the twitch uh, for types of, of twitch. Uh, which is skin, skin twitch with hand no switch with hand uh, wooden bar with rope and the last one is metal pillar like clam clam last one if it is uh, for clinical purpose you will have to use the chemical restraint such as sedative so this kind of restraint can only be done by vet so the process will will end just like that yes. before taking out the horse or getting the equipment, you have to consider the condition of the horse first, whether it is good condition or not in good mood. You can, if, if you think you cannot handle the, the horse, then you have to stop the activity. If you can handle the horse, then you, it's time for you to get the equipment and then you may proceed to your uh, activity as you plan. Okay? Hopefully you enjoy our video on this uh, standing uh, senior horses. So this is our crew again. My name is Azim Asto. My name is Hajar. And my name is Hai Hai. So make sure to follow our <laughs> <laughs> subscribe our 
uh, YouTube channel and thumbs up. <laughs> thumbs up. Okay? Bye. <laughs>